Today's story is about how my interest in painting came about while I risked paint my guitar. When I was like 16, yeah, I went to uh, I went to film school. Um, it's called in Portugal professional course, which is pretty much instead of the high school you specialize in something, and I want to specialize in film because. I love films, you know? But then, something happened. We had a class called History of the Culture of the Arts. And that might sound scary, which sounds scary for me at, at the beginning. But we had a professor there. And each class, like every single day, he would bring a new painting to his wallpaper on a computer which he then put in a projector and on the wallpaper of the desktop there's a painting but he will never 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 talk about the painting but the painting was always related to what we were going to learn that day and it just sparkled something in me like why is he showing us this and if we asked something it, it would probably say the painter but it will never explain it and like, the more classes we took, the more I was finding love for, like, paintings and, and everything. Like, the culture and how arts, it's completely related to the time. Like, Cubism and Impressionism. It, it reflects the time the people were living, um, the creation of the photography. So, we don't need to paint as real as we used to now we can wonder things that we've never seen like feelings and things that photography can't capture i tried to draw a rose in a cubistic style i found it fascinating how looking in different perspectives changes how i see an object here's the final result um okay i think we have a slight problem but no fun without problems so I'm trying to picture how the hell I'm going to draw this but um, it's going to be quite a challenge my phone stopped recording out of nowhere and my pen kept filling over and over again for a brief time I really thought I had to go straight to paint but I managed to find a solution and I was able to succeed I don't use this guitar very often, this one, because I have a new one which is way better. This one was very cheap. It was my first guitar and I remember I worked like catching piers. Um, in Portugal we do that in the summer and I worked just to buy this guitar. Very cool and it's very special to me, like very very special. It was when I met this professor that I realized that I don't just love cinema, that I love arts in general. Because all of this, it's self-expressing. It's like we're just expressing ourselves and our thoughts. I wanted to be um, a psychiatrist when I was like very young. And when I watched movies, I realized that I could tell someone something through the movies and they don't have the barrier. Because whenever you talk to someone, you have like a bubble that protects yourself but <clears throat> whenever you're watching a movie or listening to music you're vulnerable and that sparkled something in me and then this professor shows all these beautiful things and artists and everything and I realized that I really love art if it wasn't for him, I'll probably never be playing guitar at the moment. Because I realized I could do something more than just film. And that's that's incredible and I love it. Painting has been around for centuries now. It evolved a lot. I try to look at it as inspiration to my own work. How can I apply a painting style to film? In the end, it's all about expressing how you feel. 
Um, I finished. I like it. It's not perfect, but I'm not a painter, so 